my dear people of Southern Cameroons, this is a great day. This Sunday, the 1st of October in the year of our Lord, 2017. The activities of this day have fulfilled again the prophecy because it was said that it was written that on this day, the children of Southern Cameroons shall rise up like one man and defy the mighty army of La Republique du Cameroon as they will go about to celebrate their restored independence. Today, we have once more proven to the entire world that we are a resilient people, but also that we are a peace-loving people. Today, we were met by absolute brutality. We were met by a serious crush on the side of the people of La Republique du Cameroon to bring tears and mourning to our various households. Yes, today, where we celebrate, we also mourn these brave gentlemen who today gave in their lives, either actively fighting or those who even stayed at home to watch it from home and got carried away and got destroyed by stray bullets. Today, we have again proven to the world that even in the face of absolute provocation, we knew restraint. We have also demonstrated to the Secretary General of the United Nations and all other international bodies that we are a people who are delighted to do it in peace. <clears throat> Again today, we have had the opportunity to see for ourselves the great disparity that exists between the people of the Southern Cameroons and Bazonia and those of La Republique. While on the side of La Republique, People improvised street demonstrations. They were authorized overnight and they carried their demonstrations in total peace and fanfare and dived into celebrations. On our side, all the soldiers, the gendarmes, the policemen, the be in the Republic were dispatched to bring mayhem. Helicopters were flying all over the place, moving right down, firing live bullets on armless and innocent civilians. What does this bring us to? It brings us to the logical conclusion that we have two Cameroons and that these two Cameroons have distinct features. Yes, two Cameroons, two treatments, two destinies. One Cameroon where people are considered human beings and allowed to do whatever they want to do on the streets, even at very short notice. And the other Cameroon where people are considered as animals and in the words of the governor of the southwest region Okalia Bilai Bernard, dogs, in the words of Jacques Zay, rats and we were treated as such. We were hunted down, shot like they shoot animals. My dear brothers and sisters, in the face of all this, we all stood out. We fought relentlessly from Mwa to Sabongari through Ndu, Kumbo, we equally fought so hard in Akwaya. We fought in Manu, in Ikiliwindi, in Bonge, in all those localities, in Muyuka and even in Ekona, people came out. Yes, we all came out in our huge numbers. And we could all see with a lot of amazement how the people of Kejom Keku in very huge numbers applauded our flag going up. But most importantly, the military did everything to stop us from entering our capital. But we were able, without any arms, to fight our way into Boya and to hoist our flag to capture our national capital. Let it be clear that today also we had the opportunity to see those people the self-proclaimed self-righteous bloodthirsty and greedy elite stand by and watch their allies hunt us down like they hunt animals the multiple meetings that were held at the prime minister's office under the chairmanship of mr young philemon yes all those meetings called on the administrative authorities to bring down brimstone 
on us. Your wish has been granted. But take note that we have observed and observed clearly that you have taken sides with the enemies. We will never forget this. History is taking good notes. But also remember that we will never ever accept you again in our communities the way we did before. Because with the fact from today, you are on the wrong side of history. With the fact from today, you are no longer different from the terminator. You are no longer different from the oppressor. Our people are at this minute that I'm talking, being hunted down in Yaoundé and Douala. They are breaking into their houses, firing guns on people who are innocent left and right. They are terrorizing our people. Yet you sit there, you call yourself elite, elite over us, but you sit down and celebrate with our oppressors. My dear brothers and sisters, I believe that even in the midst of this trauma, we should recognize how brilliantly we have performed. For the first time in the 57 year history of our so-called Union of La Republic du Cameroon, the 1st of October was celebrated across the board. I even saw with a lot of amazement telecommunications companies sending out messages to people today to say happy reunification day. Did any of us ever know even from reading history books that La Republic recognized that the 1st of October was a significant day to be celebrated? Oh, I'm sure the reunification monument in Yaoundé should be surprised today that members of parliament abandoned their activities and at short notice convened at that site in desperate attempts to tell us that we are still one people. We can all see the level of desperation. Let me be clear. We as a people, right from the days of the consortium and today to the days of the Southern Cameroon's governing council, opted for a peaceful revolution. We opted for a kind of civil disobedience that gives room for us at the end of the day to live as peaceful and loving neighbors. But from all indications, Yaoundé believes that the only kind of relationship that we shall have after this will be to live like Northern and Southern Korea. Let me make this very clear that we have gotten this message because we decided that we are not going to take up arms, that we shall not embrace self-defense, that we shall not embrace anything that would jeopardize the peace that should reign between all of us, doesn't mean that we are cowards. We all know this adage, that when you chase somebody for a fight and the person keeps running and this guy doesn't know how to swim, when he finds himself by the stream, by, by a big river, what he does is he accepts the fight. I want to make it clear and clear here that you soldiers and B and all what not of La Republic, you do not have the monopoly of violence. You do not have the monopoly of killing. And so, to all our dear people of Southern Cameroons, if you are a landlord housing in your compound, any police officer, any soldier, any gendarme, please serve them with quick notice with immediate effect. We shall no longer keep our killers in our neighborhoods. Any landlord still keeping any of these people in our neighborhoods will be considered, we shall consider you a provocation. And we shall consider your act the manifestation of an unfriendly disposition towards a peace-loving people. And believe me, this could make with very vexing reprisals. And to you, our brothers and sisters who are still serving in the forces of La Republic du Cameroon, I guess you saw for yourself to, today the carnage that your brothers and sisters went through. I'm convinced that some of you even have deaths in your families from what happened today. If you still believe that there is some other thing that has to be done to convince you that this is the time for you to come back and defend homeland, then something must be wrong with you. My dear brothers and sisters, as we go to bed tonight, filled with the resolve and joy, that God has made it possible for us to see this day, let us note that with effect from the 2nd of October, we have no business and no instructions to take from any of the appointed officials of La Republic du Cameroon on our territory. In fact, they are no longer welcome. 
The governing council is definitely going to be bringing out to you directives on how you shall handle your businesses. Even litigations shall henceforth be handled at our various palaces. Our brave and intelligent and smart common law lawyers have been working on this, and this goes into effect almost as I'm speaking to you. The governing council will give body to all these directives and enable us to be able to, from this day, the 1st of October, continue to possess our territory, which is our God-given possession. I want to take this single moment to call on all of us who are watching this video, wherever you are, to observe a minute of silence in honor of those who have paid the ultimate price today for fatherland. May the souls of the faithful departed rest in peace. We shall forge on. We shall know no stopping. We shall only halt when the blood of all of those who are gone will be avenged. Oh yes, Yaounde has done it too much. There can never be any going back because the wounds are continuously being deepened and they will never be healed. The healing will only come when we finally build those walls. My dear brothers and sisters, as we retire tonight, let us continue to pray to our God to give us the directives necessary to ride this battle to safe shores. God is with us.